quiet, please. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's hybrid New York City Council hearing of the Committee on Civil Service and Labor. To minimize disrupt, to yes, to minimize disruption, please, everyone, place all electronic devices to vibrate or silent mode. If you wish to submit testimony, you may send it to testimony at council.nyc.gov. Thank you for your cooperation. Chair, we are ready to begin. Thank you. Good afternoon, I am Council Member Carmen De La Rosa. Welcome to today's vote of the Civil Service and Labor Committee. Today we will be voting on the following critical bills and resolutions. Propro proposed intro 658A, sponsored by me, in relation to requiring the Department of Citywide Administrative Services to establish a Civil Service Ambassador Program, and proposed resolution 310A, also sponsored by me, calling on the state legislature to pass and the governor to sign Senate Bill 3062D and Assembly Bill 7503, raising the minimum wage annually by a percentage based on the rate of inflation and labor productivity. I am so proud that we are advancing this essential bill to expand opportunities for civil service employment. For civil service, civil service employment to New Yorkers from marginalized community. The civil service system offers job security, health and labor benefits, long-term promotional career opportunities, and, re and a rewarding way to serve our city. My bill would send civil service ambassadors to all corners of the cities, including high schools, universities, trade schools, mental health programs, social work programs, juvenile justice facilities, foster care programs and shelters to educate individuals about the value of a career in civil service. This bill strives to make civil service more diverse and help vulnerable, often marginalized individuals find secure, well-paying well jobs that can lead to long-term careers. Additionally, my resolution calls for the passage of the New York State Senate Bill S. 3062D, sponsored by State Senator Jessica Ramos, and Assembly Bill A7503, sponsored by Assemblywoman Latoya Joyner, which addresses the crushing impact inflation has had on, the, on workers and families living on the minimum wage. Each year that inflation increases and wages remain stagnant, workers in the lowest paid sectors, including food service, retail, and customer service, struggle with rising costs of necessities. This resolution calls on New York to join more than a, do a dozen other states that have tied annual minimum wage increases to the rate of inflation, enabling minimum wage workers to maintain their purchasing power without yearly legislative action. I'd like to thank the committee staff for their hard work in preparing this legislation, Assistant Deputy Director Nick Connell, Policy Analyst Elizabeth Arts, as well as my Chief of Staff James Burke, Legislative Director Kiana Diaz, and Comms Director Freynet Familia. Now, I would like to recognize our colleagues who have joined us, Council Member Nurse, Council Member Menon, Council Member Dinowitz, Council Member Botcher, Council Member Hanks, and Council Member Joseph. I'll now turn it over to the clerk to call today's vote. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote. Committee on Civil Service and Labor, Introduction 658A and Resolution 310A. Items are coupled. Chair De La Rosa. Aye, Anna. Moya. I vote aye. Thank you. Dinowitz. Yes. Feliz. Botcher. Aye. Caban. Aye. Thank you. Hanks. Vote aye. Joseph. Aye. Menon. Aye. Nurse. I vote aye. I vote of nine in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Both items have been adopted by the committee. Thank you, colleagues, for joining us. We're going to hold the vote open for a few more minutes to try and get our, the rest of our colleagues to vote, and I thank you all for joining.